Welcome to Shadow Home Secretary of Act Group. Yeah. Yeah. Mr Speaker, on a difficult anniversary, I pay tribute to the brave soldier Lee Rigby yeah. and the innocent children, yeah. women and men who lost their lives and the many more who were injured at the Manchester Arena and to their families who remind us of the commitment to never let hatred win. Yeah. At the heart of the Home Secretary's responsibility is to ensure that laws are fairly enforced for all. But when she got a speeding penalty, it seems she sought special treatment, a private course, and asked civil servants to help. She refused to say what she asked civil servants to do, so I ask her that again, and to also tell us whether she authorised her special adviser to tell journalists that there wasn't a speeding penalty when there was. Mm. Well, Mr Speaker, as I've said earlier, in the summer of last year, I was speeding. I regret that. I paid the fine and I accepted the points. At no time did I seek to avoid the sanction. This is, uh, uh, what is serious here is the priorities of the British people. I'm getting on with the job of delivering for the British people a record number of police officers, a plan to stop the boats and standing up for crime and policing. I only wish the Labour Party would focus on the priorities too. Yeah. Cooper. Well, the trouble is she's failing to deliver for the British people too. And everyone can yeah, see yeah, 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 yeah. that she isn't answering the basic factual questions on what she said to the civil service and to her special adviser. And it matters because it is her job yep. to show she is abiding by the ministerial yep. code that she's broken before yep. on private and public interests and to enforce rules fairly for everyone else. But time and again, she tries to think that she's above the normal rules, breaching security even though she's responsible for it, trying to avoid penalties even though she sets them, reappointed even after breaking the ministerial code, and criticising Home Office policies even though she's in charge of them and is failing on knife crime, on channel crossings, on immigration and more. The Prime Minister is clearly too weak to sort this out. Well, if the Home Secretary cannot get a grip of her own rule-breaking behaviour, how can she get a grip on anything else? Yeah. Mr Speaker, some gentle advice for the right hon. Lady. The person who needs to get a grip here is the Shadow Home Secretary and the Labour Party because they have wholly failed to represent the priorities of the British people. When, Mr Speaker, will the Labour Party apologise for campaigning to block the deportation of foreign national offenders? When, Mr Speaker, will the Labour Party uh, apologise for leaving this country with a lower number of police officers? Can, can I just say no responsibility for the Labour Party. I think you might be. Thank you very much, Mr Speaker. Driving without care or consideration is described as one of the worst forms of antisocial behaviour, as the consequences can be fatal. If caught speeding, does the Home Secretary agree that no one should be above the law? Yeah. Well, as I, as I said earlier, uh, Mr Speaker, uh, last summer I was speeding. I regret that. I paid the fine and I took the penalty. And at no point did I attempt to evade sanction. What I am focused on is working for more police, and that's why I'm proud that it's this Conservative government that has secured a record number of police officers in the history of policing. This side of the House is focused on the people's priorities. Crime. Shadow Minister Sarah Jones. Thank you, Mr Speaker. The Home Secretary rightly said that antisocial behaviour brings misery and menace. As part of local antisocial behaviour plans, neighbourhood and traffic police across the country will rightly be cracking down on speeding and dangerous driving. <laughs> Does the Home Secretary think that speed should be, people should, who speed should be given the option to get private speeding awareness courses rather than doing them with everyone else, and in her own case, what exactly did she ask her civil servants to help her with? Uh. Mr Speaker, ho hopefully we're not going to be too repetitive today. But uh, as I said earlier, last summer I was speeding. I regret that. I paid the fine and I accepted the points. And at no point did I seek to evade the sanction. But let's be honest about what this is all about, Mr Speaker. The Shadow Minister 
would rather distract, really, frankly, from the abject failure by the Labour Party to offer any serious proposals on crime or policing. They want to talk about this because it distracts. It distracts from the fact that they voted against tougher sentences for paedophiles and murderers. They want us to ignore the fact that Labour MPs would rather campaign to stop the deportation of foreign criminals than back our Rwanda scheme. They would rather the country doesn't notice their total abandonment of the British people. This government is focusing on delivering a oh, record... Oh, 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 can I just say to your Secretary, she said she didn't want to be repetitive. Oh, that goes all round the chamber as well.